creating life by purity, saying that the the wicked in the helmet of salvation is by the vile exalts all across the United States of America, whether it is on the TV, in the eyes, or in the mind by them who have power in the sense of birth, the sense of birth, which is the death in the clouds, the, the Holy Ghost, the Hades, the brother of Orion, Hades, that death that is born through childbirth or born through interracial relationships, that third eye that can't be considered true at all times. However, the baby being closest to God, which would be Hades and Orion, brothers, the baby who is born with that lust, death, that sense that we had decided to wake ourselves up in, eating that forbidden fruit that Delphi, the devil, had fed to Eve from the rib of Adam, and Adam consummating with himself childbirth, dying from God, and dying into the brother Hades, the brother of Orion, through death, the Holy Ghost, death being both light and dark, and that vile exalt being the helmet of wickedness. If I explain truly and wholly and honestly the word of life, who has been a gift in birth and rebirth, a part of the second death and a part of the actual dying and living through it and still being alive and able to speak off of the pure words of God, which is the sword of light, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of gospel, the helmet of salvation, and the belt of truth. It is not truth in moral law, man-made law. It is truth in God. There is no other purity. I can't say that if I give my life to practicing a law while wearing the clothing of children, young children who are innocent practicing, especially if the law is unrighteous and not found worthy um, to enter into heaven, although all souls are a, a worthy opponent for the attempt of salvaging into heaven. If I take and if I, if I take that cloud that had fallen and awakened that person up in the sense, which is the world conflict known as sin, if I take that cloud that had fallen in childbirth or in interracial relationships and I have purified it by wisdom seven times, like it reads, and, and I believe that there are more archangels than only seven. We just, as as a realm noted as Helheim, have only a small inkling of an idea of God. And seven was the rationale written in the Bible, and there is no other clear notes or literature to say that there are more. But if there are 144,000 and Jesus Christ in Ephesians 4 is the edification by the elders, whether it be a preacher, an old man dying in a hospital, or a president, governor, senator, all them retired people that have no real salvation and they had already wasted their lives and their children's death making money and defiling them and uh, getting raped and pillaged by the foreign country that comes over and then takes it and sells it off to a to an idol in a in a California uh, workshop or whatever. However they do it, I'm not saying that that's actually what they do, but there are scriptures in in Leviticus 27 or it's Lamentations 27 that state 
this much that they they tithe it and what can't be tithed and sold off. I don't believe that that is a rational idea of something to do, especially if it's in your image and it, in Jesus Christ, the only name that has power is an image that cannot be separated from the Father, nor the Father be separated from the Son. I don't believe that it's a rational thing to do to sell your soul, especially if it's something that comes from your family tree. But if you die and you have nothing, I guess there is no absolute choice unless there is one who is triumphant over all things, which only can be done through God. But if I take that that cloud that had fallen and and I rise it up and purify it, the fire, um, I, I take that cloud and I'm, I'm molten it down to a soluble substance. Seven times able to finally enter into heaven back to the belt of Orion through the serpent's cut who had made this room with Hades and Adam and Eve and childbirth and and the the scents, the clouds that we're born with, the scents of hell, hell above, and hell that falls upon the earth for truth. The prince, the true prince, King David, uh, Wiglaf, in John the Baptist time with Elizabeth, one of the mountains on the hills. If I take that and purify it seven times, would not the commandments? Understanding that the saints are the people that were born in this world and wants to put to the tribulation of being uh, confined with the arch archangels and the preacher's baptisms hunting us down for whatever purpose. I can't say that in my mind I've become like-minded to a preacher when I had not consecrated myself to a preacher I had actually consecrated to the great Lord above and I had made myself an open book for a preacher to make his covet whatever the case I can't say what the preacher's plot or lot cast against me I can't say it's for me because we have established the commandments saying that thou shall not covet that's one thou shall not covet thy neighbor's house Sometimes the spirits get out of line. They are a childlike nature. That is something that is also written if you see an ass being led astray, which is the house of the covenant in Xerxes, R.T. Xerxes, the golden bull. If you see an ass being led astray, lead it back to its owner. This is another analogy of the commandments, but the great commandment finally is purified and taken up into heaven by he who is ordained to rise and and walk into the stars and offer salvation and purity and light and grace that is able to see its way through the darkness. The commandments, they fall and it is a form of everlasting life. The light and the lamp, the tree of Judah and Levi being established in Jesus as Judah and Delphi, the oracle that is a part of it. And the, the said in my mouth, with my understanding, no, none of this is written anywhere that Xerxes, R.T. Xerxes, the golden uh, ass, Ox, bull, whatever you want to call it. Xerxes, the penis fish, with the, the ark share of King David Wiglaf, the griffin bird, that radio bird that eats the penis, that eats the children's lust, that grave, that cloud, that Hades, that purity, that fire, that, that griffin bird. And then Xerxes, who had consummated with Delphi the devil, the Viper Medusa that is talked about with the great Lord of Lords, King of Kings, Hercules, who once faced many battles and trials and tribulations in the imprisonment of Jesus Christ, not Jesus Christ, but of Jesus Christ, wherein the blood of Jesus Christ 
and his father's Herod, his father Herod, who had taken the head of his mother and used that pig head to put the war pig Hercules, the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, in a prison, much like uh, uh, the rest of the saints, the rest of the uh, Jesus Christ, the rest of them who are ordained with pure wisdom. Uh, Xerxes, who had given birth with Delphi the Viper Medusa, and Jesus, who had consummated with Delphi Satan, the dragon bird, phoenix bird, and King David with the griffin bird, who favored Jesus Christ. In Matthew 1 18 through 25, the griffin bird and the phoenix dragon bird have a relation between one another through the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. And this is the, the great war in, in the uh, realm of the spirits that a lot of people are not awake to, the realm of death, hell, in Helheim, that cloud that is fallen in childbirth, that um, creature that crawls upon its belly that had risen from the from the dirt that has no salvation still stuck in this world and what people are awake to it uh, whether it be from a false religion known as fall of man and the sacrifice of lord's name in vain that is a false religion and consecration to the lord whatever whatever the case when God sees omnisciently the spirits and the commandments and the covenants that were made for the adoption of hell in Helheim through childbirth, dying from God, the great God Orion, in the brother Hades, who had given a sense in the clouds, the manipulation, the imagination, the um, orchestrated architect of something that seems true but in fact is not always true and overcoming that trial so um, stating all of these things when it is finally purified seven times whatever uh, preacher person in a house whatever president, governor, senator, all that that is spoken about, that one that is favored by the dragons, is seen. It is known. It is heard. The great mother of Babel, uh, the founder of this earth through childbirth, Delphi, the devil, the oracle, and many others established with the great kings of her, um, like Beowulf, like King David, like Apollo, like Hesperides, like Zeus, like uh, Poseidon, all those, it goes, Thar, it goes on and on. There are many great kings and lords that have come and princes. So, um, just a fair warning. I, I don't wish no harm upon anybody in my consecration. I don't, I don't think it would be wise for me to expect harm when I'm an elect.